back again with another video and this time it is a special edition because we are on well I think this oh no not my first English staycation but my first England staycation with a friend and we are in Bath so you would have already seen a bit of footage of what we got up to when we first arrived we just stopped in a little cafe before we checked into our Airbnb and now we are about to go to the Ivy for lunch but I thought I would just quickly start the vlog away from prying eyes and then when we get back I'll give you a little tour of the apartment but it's right on the high street as you can see so cute and here is Sabrina just spruising herself up but yeah so we'll show you what we get at the Ivy and then give you a tour of the apartment after We've got our suitcases, so I thought I'd just quickly give you a little tour. So this is the entrance hall, little desk, a mirror, then you've got the hallway there. This is our bedroom, so cute. Turn them, oh, that didn't make much difference, but really nice. And then you've got the bathroom here, which is again very cute. Shower, toilet, you know, the standard bathroom amenities. And then through here is the lounge area. I don't know why it looks so blue from that angle, but we've got Sabrina there, we've got a mirror, nice kitchen, <laughs> get the sofa. And then you've got this wonderful view of High Street. So we're right on Milson Street, which is like one of the, like in the centre of the town. And we've got a little bit of cheeky blue sky as well. Perfect. So we are off to dinner, we're all doled up. I think we're probably the only people doled up in the whole thing. <laughs> it's more like a healthy population. But um, we're going to dinner by the river, so we'll show you when we get there. of our viewers would like that. Matcha tea. Freshly squeezed lemon. Summer set. Pomona. <laughs> so good. Local honey. Fever tree lemonade. And mm. bitters. Whatever that is. And you said it's potentially one of the best cocktails I've ever had. Okay. Just have a little zoom in. You've got a little um, kumquat there as well, which probably adds to the flavour. I'll just give you a little tour. We've got a little um, face there. You can kind of get a feel of the vibe. 
So yeah, a little bit different, but we're loving it. really morning anymore it's about one half one half one and this morning we went to the really a really cute little cafe and had a bottomless brunch which we didn't need we had a bit in of time, so like, everything was going wrong so we smashed a champagne glass spilt ketchup. ketchup everywhere moved our table back all in all it was really nice just quite a lot of food and after last night we didn't really need so many drinks um, so now we're going to go and try and see oh! okay. if we can um, rent some bikes because um, we want to cycle. We want to cycle on the river late and um, now. But as you can see, it's very, very breezy. So um, hopefully we don't get blown away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking the moments we live in. Yeah. You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on high and heat us We picked up our bikes and Sabrina's I'm just finding her feet Woohoo! I'm on high and heat us I'm on high and heat us Uh-oh Baby, don't check for me Taking time out disaster they should have paid us 10 pounds to go on the bikes so we've handed them back ended up going into bar but the weather's rain started so that is the beauty of english staycations you wouldn't get this in greece <laughs> flash floods i'm sodden but we've come into this nice cafe called dexter's which is opposite in bathwick i think it's called it's just like on the other side of the town make a name for generations please and make a Take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. So we've um, been back to the house, yeah, refreshed. refreshed ourselves, and we've managed to book in a last minute trip to the actual baths, which I don't culture, know if the bath is named history. after the baths, potentially. I think it is. So I'm sure we'll find out. But it was fully booked, so we're so lucky that we actually managed to find a space. Although Sabrina's seen it quite a few times, I've seen it when I was a bit younger. But we've also got a, so it's 6 p.m. now. We've got a dinner reservation at seven. So it's all um, it's a bit tight. But I mean, how long does it take to look around a bath? Once you've seen one, you've, <laughs> you've seen, seen one seen bath, you've seen them all. Soak in the moments you live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Cheers. So um, we're back in the flat. We thought we'd be able to do a quick whistle stop tour of the baths before um, our dinner, but which is at seven. But actually, you need probably do need the whole two hours to look around during COVID because you have to queue to get into all the different sections. A little insider knowledge for you if you're going to bath. So yeah, we've come back to the hotel and um, the apartment for a quick little tipple before we go to dinner. Mm. We're going to Oppa, which is a Greek restaurant. So we'll show you when we're there. Hey, I worry about 